Ah, summer. I thought you would never get here. Is there anything better than the warm sunshine, the sounds of the waves, the feeling of the sand? Ugh, UV index is five? Apply more sunscreen? Maybe this is a slight exaggeration, but just like my mom, the Nitatmo June nags me to put on more sunscreen and get out of the sun. The UV tracking bracelet pairs with my iPhone to give me more information about the sun exposure I'm getting. Okay, sure, in situations like this, I don't really need to be warned to get out of the sun or put on sunscreen. My burning eyes and my burning skin have done that quite well. No Bluetooth required. But the gadget has made me more aware of the sun exposure I'm getting, especially when it's cloudy or windy. That is, when it actually works. You won't find any buttons or blinking lights on this tracker. Instead, Natatmo designed the June to look like a piece of jewelry. It's the first wearable I truly haven't minded wearing all day. You can even clip it to your bathing suit or shirt. The UV sensor is embedded in the face of the device. When paired via Bluetooth with your iPhone, you can see the live UV index. The app will tell you how much of your maximum daily sun dosage you've gotten. And that's based on the UV index, the amount of time you've been in the sun, and your skin type. It will also alert you when you should reapply sunscreen or when the UV index has gone up. The app suggests SPF 15 for me, but dermatologists recommend a minimum of SPF 30, in part because most people don't apply enough sunscreen to begin with. In fact, I spoke to a lot of dermatologists this week about the June bracelet, and they all say you should put on one full ounce of sunscreen every time you apply. That is like a full shot glass of sunscreen, every time. There are other glaring problems too. The app interface itself is confusing, the Bluetooth connection drops, and it only works with the iPhone. Also, the bracelet isn't waterproof. The company says it can get splashed and a little bit wet, but you should not go swimming with it on. Of course, that's pretty ironic since, you know. The June did accomplish part of its goal. It definitely made me more aware of how much sun I was getting, even when I just went out to get a coffee. But its complicated app and other issues stopped me from wanting to dedicate wrist space to it, even though it does look cool. Ultimately, I'd like UV tracking and some of these other cool design features to come to the wearable fitness bracelets we're already wearing. Until then, I'm spending my $99 this summer on much more sunscreen and cool hats.